So in previous video, we saw that how to install Kali Linux on Google Cloud Platform. But somehow that method is uh, failing now. Uh, adding a public key into repository is failing nowadays. So uh, we have found new method to install the Kali uh, with a official Kali key ring or a public key. So let's jump on our screen. So in previous video, we saw that how we added the uh, apt repository. Uh, into sources.list then we have updated it and uh, added this public key value but somehow this method is failing nowadays so we found this keyring official keyring in Kali pool and it is totally working so let's create a new instance first and it will take some time to load our page so I'll name the instance as a Kali and we'll select the region to okay low CO2 one maybe yeah and let's scroll down to E2 medium yeah that's sufficient for us for kicks of RAM and we'll change the disk type to SSD and we'll keep it uh, operating system as a Debian and uh, I'll set up a size to 30 gigs hit select and then hit create so it's giving some error make sure that all fields correct uh, to continue okay let me see what are the issues here what do shows sub network okay i haven't selected the network okay let's create a network now yeah so our instance is creating now And it got failed. Uh, the zone project uh, does not have enough resources. Okay, so I have to delete this and I have to create a new instance again. So uh, I'll be making a video in fast forward while creating instance. Hopefully, we create an instance. Yeah, our instance is created now. Let's jump to SSH first. Uh, SSH, yeah, SSH is here. Yeah, we are on our Kali screen now. Uh, let me do first uh, root user login using sudo hyphen i and uh, we'll navigate to our repository path that is etc apt and we have our file here sources.list so let's edit it using nano editor nano source.list and i'll erase everything here and we'll copy our repository from official kali website repository lists so uh, let's jump back to our ssh shell control x y enter we have saved the file apt update now once we hit the apt update uh, we are getting a gpg key error here about the same public key so before trying successful method let me try this one first um 
Owing directory root gpng created key box is created. You keep the screen both screen side by side. So it will take so much time so I'll just skip that and we'll directly download our keyring from official Kali because this method is failing now. So we'll copy our keyring here and ls so that you guys can see it. the keyring is downloaded. Let me clear the screen and zoom in a little bit. That's okay. Now we have our keyring here. Let's install it using the package hyphen i Kali archive keyring. And yeah, our keyring is installed. Now let's try apt update again. And we can see a uh, key added into Kali. Now do apt upgrade and hit yes. So while this update, I'll just keep the part and we'll directly jump on to next meta package installation. So we have upgraded our uh, Debian distro. Now let's install the meta packages, Kali meta packages from official Kali website. So we need a desktop environment. For desktop environment, we'll be using the XFC and uh, for basic installation, I'll let's install the Kali Linux default first. And again, installation will take some time, so I'll be doing fast forwarding in video. So uh, we have installed our desktop environment meta package also. Let's reboot our host and we'll restart uh, with uh, start VNC server here. It's reboot working. Uh, call reboot failed. They already. A shutdown or a sleep operation in progress. Okay. For uh, taking a remote access, desktop access to our uh, you know, Kali instance, uh, we'll be using real VNC application. Real VNC. I uh, already downloaded and reinstall reinstall on my host. Let me take real VNC. Okay, so we have installed our Kali. Let me jump on again to root user and you can see our Kali destroys install your name hyphen all and you can see Kali Debian with the Kali uh, Kali kernel so let's start our VNC server and for password I'll set my password uh, I don't want any key view only access right now so we have started up our uh, VNC server on host. Let me check my firewall setting uh, to get the remote access first. So for that, I'll jump to firewall. Yes, firewalls. By default, VNC server is hosted on 59 port number 5901. 
let me check net start qlpn and yes 5901 it's the x type vnc you can see here and uh, let's check is our port added into list or not and default allow icmp default allow rdp okay let's open this rdp one and add our 5901 port number Five nine zero one, yes, and save it. Let me check my what is the IP for our machine call IP dot me, and yeah, this is our IP for the Kali instance. So we have added the port here. Let's try to get a VNC access uh, for the real VNC viewer. And port number 5901. So it will be asking for passwords. So oh, it's gone to second screen. Let me pull this here. And you can see it won't show message again. It'll be asking me for password and it enters. So we see error here regarding the dbus launch. So we have to install this dbus launch. Then only we can apt install dbus launch. Now dbus. Oh, it's already there. Then what's the error? Okay, it's, let's delete this and reconnect to our host. Okay, this is completely a black screen. Let's generate dbus launch dbus stamen okay and uh, apt update maybe Delete this and let's stop VNC server kill one and let's restart VNC server and let's try to connect again. Let me add password. Okay. And this is the error fail to execute child process reverse to such file. Fail to execute child process reverse launch. And they said it's solved. What's the error? Okay. Oh, I need to install this package TBUS X11. So uh, let's try installing that. Install it. And hopefully it should start our let me stop this and uh, we delete it. Let's restart our 
PNC server again. And let's see. We could get the desktop environment. Yeah, and we got the desktop access to our Kali. So let's take the shell and check if it is the same. Call ip.me. Yeah, it's the same IP. Uh, IP that means so we got the desktop access using the VNC. So uh, thank you for watching this video, guys. In the upcoming videos, uh, we'll be demonstrating how to install uh, Windows as uh, Google uh, does not allow us to install uh, Windows in trial pack. So uh, we'll be doing a nested virtualization and install Windows under that virtual box. So stay tuned. Uh, if you like the content, then do like the video, share, subscribe the channel, and please add the comment uh, what type of videos you want in future. Thank you.